Facebook Marketplace lists millions of products. To find what you're looking for, you need a ranking system. But ranking is easier said than done. Most product information is contained in the listing's unstructured image and text data. And users don't always put much effort into their queries. It's near impossible to explicitly write down all the rules for how to turn this complex data into search result rankings. So how's it done for Facebook Marketplace? The overall idea is to use machine learning to find vector representations called embeddings of the search query and the different products and rank the most similar vectors highest. And that's what this system does at a massive scale. Under the hood, a multimodal neural network combines both a text understanding network and an image understanding network to produce the final embedding for each listing. The set of vectors representing every product is called a search index. Given a particular product index, it returns the corresponding embedding. The image understanding network is a pre-trained ResNet 50 CNN. It's a 50 layer deep neural network that has been trained to perform a thousand way classification on the famous ImageNet dataset. From that task, the pre-trained network has learned to detect high level features useful for that classification task. By pushing data through the network and taking the activations that appear in those deep layers of the network, meaningful representations of the images can be extracted as a vector. But these representations are useful for classifying images from the ImageNet dataset, not specifically for recommending products. By truncating the network beyond this layer, adding a temporary layer that fits the output size for a new task, and retraining on a dataset of marketplace listing images to classify listing categories labeled by the users who uploaded them, it's possible to fine tune the parameters of these layers to output representations useful for this new task. This is known as transfer learning. An outside model is used to create embeddings for each word. The text understanding network is a CNN that convolves over these embeddings. The outputs of both networks are stacked together to form a representation which contains information about both the image and the description of the listing. The parameters of the text model are trained from end to end by using the concatenated embedding to predict the category of the listing. By learning to classify this listing, the model learns to capture meaningful representations about them in the embedding. Notice that this didn't require cutting edge architectures. It was all possible using just simple models and it was enough to get Marketplace's ranking system off the ground. This embedding produced by the multimodal model is the ultimate vector used to create the search index. We can use the search index of embeddings for each marketplace system for all kinds of applications. Comparing product to product can be used to recommend similar products to the one you're currently looking at. But in our case, we want to compare products to searches. To do that, we need an embedding of the search term too. Again, a similar text understanding model could be used to produce an embedding for the text in the search. Better search results are personalized too. So another model is used to create a user embedding. The user and search term embeddings can be combined to produce a final embedding which represents the search query personalized to the user. That's the vector that we want to compare the product embeddings with to find the closest matches. A simple way to compute similarity between vectors is by performing a dot product. Computing exact similarities between each vector in the search index can work at a small scale, but when you have billions of items, this operation could become too computationally expensive to compute an exact closest neighbor for any given vector, let alone in real time. Most modern ranking systems have two stages, called the retrieval stage and the ranking stage. The retrieval stage is designed to do a rough search through the whole dataset for a short list of the best potential candidates quickly. The ranking stage can then do a more careful search over the short list. For the retrieval stage of the marketplace ranking system, Facebook used FICE. It's a tool for nearest neighbor search that works for billion scale datasets. At the time it was produced, it was 8.5 times faster than the previously reported state of the art. 
Instead of doing exhaustive vector comparisons, Feist uses some optimization tricks, including only comparing vectors within a local vicinity of the query and reducing the dimensionality of the vectors that need to be compared. Feist is used to retrieve a few hundred candidate listings. Then, these candidates are filtered down and more finely ranked by a larger model, which is updated in real time to include useful information about the user based on other interactions across Facebook. This is the final set of rankings. The Marketplace team can then hand the system over to the internal hosting team. That team containerizes the ranking system and deploys it as an API which can accept queries and return results. And that's how a hugely used search engine result ranking system provides a tailored experience to millions of users looking to make purchases at massive scale in real time.